welcome to day number five of our 2015 Countdown to Christmas. I'm Adam Eliasson. And I'm Joe Evans. We're here with our Costco Advent Calendar. Let's get to it. Alright, so we're on day number five. Yeah. Way down here in the 20. Just the look of it makes me think wheat beer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's another Hefeweizen. You can tell this from the color can, again. it's going to be a wheat beer, right? Yeah. It's got some weird chicken tiger thing going on. Griffin? That'd be a griffin. So we got water, wheat malt, barley malt, roasted malt, Ooh. popped in yeast. Roasted malt makes it different than all the other ones. Yeah, that actually gets me a little bit excited now. Once again, it's a German beer. I was expecting, like, at least some, uh... Like, go to Belgium. Yeah, or Belgian like beers. Italy, France. Yeah, maybe a, a French beer, for sure. Even, like, some English beers, right? Like, yeah. I would love an ESP. Europe. Yeah. But, maybe that'll be in the coming days? Maybe. Not sure. Maybe it's just in Germany right now, and then it's going to move on. Tony Wilhelm Hefeweizen. Ooh, that's dark. Really? A dark Hefeweizen? Yeah. That's actually shocking to me. Is it actually Hefeweizen? Because I saw Hefe something else, but is that just the German word for Hefeweizen? Uh, Hefe Weissbier, so it's... I guess not quite a half of vice. Well, it is, but it isn't. I think because of the roasted malts, it's more like a dunkel in a way. Um, that is. It's interesting because, like, as you come down, like, it kind of like. You got, like. Lightens up? Yeah. Yeah, mine too. I thought it was just the glass, but I'm wrong. I think the glass does play a pretty big part, but, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. I get the same kind of. Dank kind of aroma. Yeah, that, it's uh, like yeah, it's German. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Not saying that Germans are dank, but <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure some are <laughs> in both senses of the word. Okay, it tastes German for sure. It's... What was that beer that we had back on the show? It wasn't a countdown or anything. That I said, or you said, it felt like sucking a wet carpet out of a basement. <laughs> sucking on the sh like a shag carpet of a wet basement type thing, no? Ringing a bell? <sighs> it wasn't the Matilda or the Sophie. No. It was the, the one that was wrapped. The XXX or something, right? Oh yeah, the quadruple X bitter or something? Yeah. The one that had the paper wrapping. Yeah, it took yeah. forever to get it off and it was so loud. <laughs> it, to me, it tastes like that. Okay. Finally, one we can, or I can at least, can relate to something yeah. we've had on the show. Yeah. The... Yeah, it does taste a bit like that. It's like in between that and trying to be a dunkle. Like it, it's trying to be a dunkle, I think, in a way, but it's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not enjoying this one. That's. I, I love dark beers, but this is... I don't know, this is not for me. If you give the the nose another try, um, if you've ever had a glass of Coke that you didn't finish, and you had it just laying on your desk for a couple days... And then you mistake it for your new can of Coke and drink it? No, but you know like the smell it gets when it's okay, been sitting yeah, out yeah, for a couple yeah. days? Like it gets that weird... Or like if you do like a bottle drive and you got the all the stale pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. totally smells like that. Yeah, I see that, for sure. It's very interesting. So both smells and tastes like something you wouldn't want to put your mouth on. It's weird because, for me, I actually kind of like the taste. Really? There's something about it. I think it's because I'm basing it off of the past four days. Especially the first three days where... You weren't such there a fan. Are much lighter beers I just wasn't a fan of. Yeah. Um, maybe because this one is like jumping away from that train. Um, I'm liking it right now. Again, the smell. I am liking the variety. The yeah. best. The taste is it's interesting. Yeah. It's not <laughs> great. It's not 
bad either. It's just like that weird, like, you're not so sure about it. Um, I think this one's going to be very hit and miss amongst the people. Yeah. Um, for you, it's a miss. Yeah. For it's me, it's starting to get a, a little bit better, but not not enough that I would never seek this out again. So, like, yesterday we were talking about how they're trying to mass market to people, right? This and is not. This is not <laughs> trying to do that, I don't think. This oh. is trying to get more into that, like, niche. Yeah. And, uh, maybe they're trying to convince people to branch out. Yeah. So, uh, I'm liking that they went in a different direction. Even if I don't like it, I'm glad we're not having, you know, 24 light German beers. Yeah. So. <laughs> Because that would be very, very boring. Yeah. I just, yeah. Huh? There you I go. That's it. We have a beer that we don't agree on. You not actually not were, too many of those. But... You are mentioning that in the brewery report, I believe. The brewery report, or... Whatever I've made comments episodes. about it before, that yeah. we seem to agree on everything. We've had maybe one other that we didn't agree on. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it for yourself and see, I guess. Okay. We'll do it for day five. Cheers. Cheers.